<laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Nick. This is Deb, and tonight we are painting the sand and sunglasses. Got my beach ball, got my sunglasses, got my fedora. I'm all ready for the beach. How about you, Miss Deb? How are you doing tonight? Ready to go. Let's all right. rock this. So tonight we're gonna sit around, talk around, paint around, Shoot and around. get around. We're gonna get around. Feud around. And, and what? We're going to feud around. Feud around. We're going to play some family feud. Family feud. we got some fun things in store for you guys today. We've got some surprises. Stuff. got different some stuff. topics we're going to talk about. And I'm going to let you have it from here because I have to go do my job. Perfect. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Sand and Sunglasses Paint Party and Family Feud, our version of it anyway. First, I do just want to go over just a couple of things. Since we aren't all together in a studio like we used to be, I do need to make sure that everyone can see us and hear us. So if you could just post in the comments, hello, hi, Dorothy sees us. And um, if you can't see or hear us, or you hear an echo or any of those kind of crazy things, put it in the comments for us if you would. Um, because we can't see you if you're just nodding your head or shaking your head like, no, I can't hear you. We can't actually see you. So if you have problems seeing or hearing, do go ahead and just post that in the comments. And um, we will go ahead and leap in and get started. All right. Um, this is my version of the um, sand and sunglasses. For those of you. I figured it out. You figured what out? I figured it out. No, you did it. I figured it you out. Did it. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Hi, Dorothy. <laughs> this is my version of the um, sand up. Yay, Laverne, here's this. Laverne, did you check your email? Um, this is my version of the um, sand and sunglasses. For those of you who did receive your pattern via email, I'm going to show you how to put the pattern on the canvas and those of you who are members of the paint party um, party room all of your supply list and the pattern and everything is uh, obviously already in your membership group there so hey lynn good to see you laverne you got an email it said it went to you i'll double check it Wait, did she not check or did she not oh okay <laughs> laverne did you not check or did you not receive it sorry guys <laughs> sidebar convo was laverne it's super important about her prize she won last week laverne we'll wait go ahead go yeah check. just check <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody so um hey lynn so glad you joined us awesome so um <laughs> for those of you i'm gonna <laughs> she didn't check that's okay it's all right well, so, she's going to be surprised. She's going to be so surprised when you open it. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's your surprise. You and Delaney surprise um, from last week. All right. So the first thing, um, we're going to switch views because I'm going to show them the um, canvas. So if you did receive your, if you're using your the pattern, then the first thing you're going to do is, sorry about that, is take your, um, take your, take your graphite paper, if you have graphite paper, and then you're going to put it on your canvas, shiny side down. Hey, you look confused. Oh, it's not bad. You're going to put it on your canvas, shiny side down, and then you're going <laughs> to... Nick moved a lot of stuff cleaning up after me, and one of the things was my pattern, but I can demonstrate, no worries. Um, so I'm going to use a different pattern to demonstrate it. So, <laughs> so you're going to put... We're always cleaning behind each other, and it's just one of those times when we clean and put stuff away from each other. I found it. It's okay. Little sidebar. No worries. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna actually get the correct pattern. This was a pattern that we did from a week ago, Wednesday or whatever. I am gonna get out of the way. This is the flamingo pattern, and Nick painted it blindfolded. If you guys missed that last week, you missed a hysterical. Yeah. 
And wait, show oh, wait. behind you. Show oh, behind wait, you. wait. Okay, time out. I have to show you. Nick actually sold his first painting that he painted. Voila. Two bucks. I am a and, professional. Yeah, one of our neighbors bought his, his flamingo that he painted blindfolded. And she was drunk. It was Cinco de Mayo. Whole other story. But anyway, <laughs> back to the painting. All right, so you're going to put your pattern on top of the graphite paper. Just make sure your graphite paper, the shiny side, is facing down. And then I usually trace mine with something other than um, a writing utensil, not a pencil, not a pen. I actually usually use this wooden stick thing here. Skewer. Skewer. And I usually use that because that way I don't mess my pattern up. It doesn't, like, when I go over, it doesn't. And leave an extra mark on there okay but alternately if you don't have graphite paper because it's not always easy to find if you don't have graphite paper you can print the pattern out that you were emailed and you could actually cut around the pattern cut it out and then put it on your canvas without the graphite paper and just trace lightly around it with a pencil okay and then for those of you who are in the membership group of course you have it in a couple of different sizes if you're painting it on a 12 by 12 or 11 by 14 i always try to put it in different sizes and um, in the files on the membership group okay so i did go ahead and put mine on the canvas ahead of time because usually this is about the time that people have other questions um, and things like that. And so it gives me the opportunity while people are tracing the pattern on their canvas, um, however they're tracing it, to answer any questions that anybody might have, make sure there's no technical difficulties. This time looks good. Looks like there's no echo. Everybody can see in here. So we're in pretty good shape there. All right. So I'm not going to paint in my sunglasses because had trouble with my internet. Elaine had trouble with her internet. Glad you could join us, Elaine. All right. So, whoops. The first thing we're going to um, start on. So, I went ahead and traced my pattern on with graphite paper. And I also went ahead and outlined my figure, uh, my figures that are my man and woman that are going to be. Um, painted black anyway i went ahead and traced around them with a fine point black marker because then that way when i'm painting the inside of the sunglasses they're already there and i won't lose my pattern if i traced it and um, super super light okay so that's why i, I went ahead and uh, did that did that with the palm trees as well because they're going to be painted black anyway so one of the things, and um, so I'm glad everybody's here. So Lynn, Laverne, Elaine, Dorothy, and um, Mama. So one of the things that we always say that we want people to do is make sure when they're doing their paintings that they experiment and that they are, what else did I, what else do I tell people to do? That they are. This is not a family feud question. Oh, Laverne saw it. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, Laverne. This isn't a family view question. What do I always encourage people to do? Experiment and make sure you are creative. That's right. Do creative things. That's absolutely right. So, um, and I always say if it, it's paint, so if you don't like it, you can paint over it. So while everybody's kind of tracing theirs, um, while everybody is tracing theirs, I just did want to show you that one of the things I had decided to do. You want to change the camera angle? Do you need to? One of the things that I, sorry, one of the things that I decided to do <laughs> was I decided that I wanted the couple to have a puppy dog on the beach with them, okay? And so I painted a puppy dog on there. One of my rules for my own self, I have to tell myself, is leave well enough alone. But this time I did not do that. I was like, I'm going to put a puppy dog on the beach. So I put a puppy dog on the beach with them. I did it freehand. And um, um, some of you know that I'm not really a very good drawer sometimes. I don't draw very well. And so the puppy actually ended up looking like a wild boar. We have a lot of wild boar running around in our city. And so I think maybe that's why it ended up looking like that. But I did fix it. And it does somewhat now look a little tiny bit more like a dog. But it really transformed from looking like a wild boar 
So then it looked like a miniature donkey and a miniature pony. And now it somewhat looks like an evil dog with a hyena. A hyena. It's a hyena. We, also, we also have a lot of hyenas around here. Okay. So I said all that to say only that um, please experiment and be creative in any paintings that you do. Um, because it's paint, you can paint over it, and that's kind of how we learn and grow, all right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started with the background now. We're going to uh, paint all of the sky. Um, did you receive the tracer, Diane? Diane didn't get it. Okay, let me find my phone and I'll send it over to you um, as soon as I find my phone. So we're first going to start painting the background. And all the sky back in behind. Let me get the painting back over here. Diane, I'll send it to you. Hold on one second. <coughs> all the background back in here and back in behind here. We're going to paint whatever color you decided that you wanted your background to be, okay, your sky to be. Um, it can be kind of turquoise or whatever color. It's nicer for this particular instance if the background is a little bit lighter than um, the inside of the sunglasses, okay? So we're gonna paint those separately. So we're gonna go ahead and start by, um, by going into, I'm gonna use um, some of the cobalt blue and then I'm really gonna lighten it up with white. <coughs> Diane, message me your, um, 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 Female. Message me your email real quick again. I have it in my file, but message it to me real quick. All right, so, oh, that white doesn't like me. So yeah, whatever color you decided you wanted your background to be, I'm actually gonna add some white to mine to lighten it up some. I do like, especially with the sky, to kind of do it two different colors. So I'm going to use my um, three-quarter inch brush, and I'm going to wet it, and then I'm going to dry off most of it. Have these. There we go. I'm going to get most of it off of there, and then I'm going to kind of mix the two colors together. I'm going to um, double load it, and that means I'm just going to get some of each kind of um, each color paint and then I'm just going to start putting it on the background and I'm going to put this painting over here so we have it to reference but then we're just going to paint just start going across the background with the sky I do kind of like to wisp it back and forth like this because it does and um, kind of make it look like a sky looks you know kind of makes it look a little bit cloudy in there and it doesn't matter if you go a little bit over your pattern that's on there because um, you can still mostly see through it if you're if you're um, keeping it kind of light enough, okay? And then be sure to paint around the edges, okay? Make sure you paint on your edges. Do you want to do my sky real quick so I can send this to Diane? Can I can I trouble you for that? I could do that. Okay. And your sky can be whatever color you want it to be. I just I just lightened mine up so it's nice and light. But when Nick does skies, he likes to put um there you go. I'm just gonna send this to So today. sorry, I really wasn't paying much attention to what you were doing. Oh thanks so a lot. sorry. So, so am so I supposed sorry. to paint inside of here or no? No. <laughs> so just paint here and paint my edges for okay. me. <laughs> Time out. We're gonna switch partners so I can send Diane. Wait, we got we gotta switch because I'm, I'm Oh you're left-handed. All right, here we go. I'm southpaw. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, just don't paint here if you can avoid that it. That little line? Yeah. So and then don't do dark here, here. But just here and then oh, just a slow spot right here. Oh jeez. And right. then down to here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope I don't mess this All up. All right. And again, for those of you who are just joining us for the um, first time tonight, we do paint some, chill some. We um, play some family feud. And, and we um, got some surprises. And we got some fun surprises tonight. for tonight. Also, after the class, there is a... Um, there's a video available, so if you if you get behind, please you know just send us a chat and tell us. Um, let's see, 
send us a chat and tell us or ask us any questions that you want to. But just know also that sometimes people, a lot of times, people just the they um they just watch on Saturday night and then they paint later or they paint part of it and and watch part of the time. Um, except Nick, he said confess. <coughs> Thank you, Andrea. I think it's so fun too. What's she saying? Okay, she said she loves his painting. She sent me the most beautiful um, picture, and it reminded me um, so much of the of inside. Me? Yeah, of you. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> it reminded me so much of the inside of that gone fishing. All right, Diana, it's on your way. And that gone fishing pattern. But the gone fishing pattern doesn't have like the skyline in there. But the picture she sent me was so, so pretty. Thank you, Diane, uh, Andrea. I love that you can just choose whatever colors that you want for the sky and even for the sunglasses as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> oh, you're in, it's not a problem. It's not a problem, Diane. Don't worry about it. What's she say? She said she doesn't want to be a problem. No worries. Who's You're problem? all good. Diane. Diane's no problem. <laughs> she, We're all sick. She needs to hang out with me for a little bit. That's a problem. <laughs> all right. Here, I'll take over if you hey. want. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, all the hard work. Da -da -da. You can take complete credit now. Maybe you can sell this one, too. All right. All right. So we're just painting the sky, whatever color that you guys chose to and paint the, the sky. I wanted mine to be lighter, so I've mixed more white in for it to be a little bit lighter because I kind of like the way it looks like it's um, actually more kind of like a watercolor and you can see kind of the white in there, like there's some clouds in there. So it's just gonna go all the way around the sunglasses. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit because it's starting to drag just a little bit. And whee, there we go. <clears throat> okay, there we go. What colors? Hey, Jojo. What color? And um, what colors are everybody painting their sunglasses? Red, blue. We are gonna um. We are going to fix it soon so we can share some of people's paintings on here because Joe just painted a beautiful, beautiful painting. I actually didn't get to show you yet, did I, Nick? And Lynn just painted a picture that was so beautiful. I literally gasped when I saw it. <coughs> I told Nick, I was like, oh, red, cool. I did red. Um, I just thought pink would be cool. And um, I have one of my... One of my friends I've seen her in a long time, but she always liked lime green. So this kind of reminds me of her. Hey, JoJo's here. JoJo's in the house. JoJo! JoJo liked her last prize that she got. What'd she get? When she um she won last week. All right. Okay, so we're basically gonna do that. And then just make sure you paint around the edges there. All right. So I see some of my areas, some canvases are so thirsty. They just drink the paint up. So I see there's some areas up here that kind of drink the paint up some. So I'm just going to go back and kind of cover up those areas. Oh, darker green would be cool. Green's my favorite color, so. But yeah, I really, really want to be able to show you guys some of the. You need to send the, another tracer out. The spectacular. Are you okay? Yeah. Can, can we take over? Oh, wait. Did somebody else ask one? Yeah. Who was it? Um, well, I can't tell you that. Does it say DI? No. Yeah. Oh. Excuse us while I reach. Pardon. I, I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, CHT. Okay, got it. All right. I will get that over. Fred, you do that. I'll okay. play. I'll play. I'll, I'll go over the family food questions. Okay. Um, I, I mean rules. Oh, rules, questions. Questions, rules. Okay. Who's, I'm going to let this dry up a little bit, and I'm going to send that. Um, yeah. Sometimes when I send those patterns out, they get eaten alive. Uh oh. It's 
so sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So uh, let me send the Boop. other one. Boop. Okay. Oh, 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 all right, here we go. All right, I have actually. Hi, everyone. By the way, good to see you all. Um, I have found some beach family feud questions. Ah, uh -huh. but so, the, the, not the ones for the special prize. Right? No, no, different no, no, ones, no, 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 different ones, no, no. These okay. are different ones. All right. Um, so, family feud tonight, like we always have been doing for the last few weeks, is I ask a question, you answer it. And then I put your name on a sheet of paper with a number next to it. And then at the end of the night, we pick three of the numbers. Mama will pick them. And then the one of the three will win. All right. All right. Sounds fair. If that makes any sense to anybody. I cannot find. Here it is. Okay. Right. Here he goes. Family food question number one. Ready? Ta -da! Name Thanks. something that a beachgoer complains about. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, family feud question for the evening is name something that a beachgoer complains about. So, I don't complain about anything about the beach because I like the beach. I love the beach. Yep. So. I went paddle boarding today and saw so many sand. Sprays. Awesome. Cold water, yeah. Oh no, hot sand. Hot sand. Litter, yes, Joe, exactly. Good answer. <laughs> on the board. Hot sand, yes. Hot sand on feet. A good answer. <laughs> too hot. Never too hot. <laughs> no, Diane, that's that's so true. Uh, always that always just corrects me up when people are like, oh my god, it's so hot. It's like it's the beach. Sand between your toes. <laughs> Who complains about that? All oh. right, Christine. <laughs> Andrea is just like an hour south of us. And Christina, you should have that pattern now. Sorry about that. Too sunny. How could it be too sunny yeah. at the beach? It's too many people. Our beaches are not like that in our Too many area. people at the beach, yes. <laughs> But not in our area. Too bright. Area, it's not like that. No, no, no. <laughs> Sunburn. Yes, Sunburn. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's for the stubborn guys that refuse to. Loud push. music. Yes. <laughs> that goes with the too many people. <laughs> Riptide. Riptide. Yeah. Cloudy. Cloudy yes. yes. There yeah, we go. you pack everything up and you get over there, and then it's although, so cloudy. Although my best beach days are windy and cloudy. Yeah, no, I'll pass on that. I like it that. windy and cloudy. I'll pass on that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I like trees too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mary. Okay. So while I had some of the um, the white on the plate that I mixed to kind of make my background color, I went ahead and not good shelling. Yes, wrong coast for that. Um, yeah, in Florida, Laverne, but where we're at in Florida, we have a monsoon season, and so like from June to August, all the summer basically, it rains like every afternoon, and it's just it's so annoying. By the time you have time to go to the beach, then it starts raining. Okay, I took some of the white that I had and painted um, and painted um, white to where my moon is going to go, so that it'll kind of make the yellow pop off of the page that way. Did you explain the rules? So what he's going to what he's doing is everybody who's participating, um, there you get a number, and he's going to put a number beside your name, and then at the end of the night, mom is going to pick a number. And then that's who wins. Okay. Any questions about that? And no, oh, Andrew, I want to go to the to Sanibel and get some seashells there, but I've never been able to go. Didn't we go there? What was that beach that we went to over there? I think that was Naples, but it wasn't the you can never get in that one beach that they talk about because we, we did go there with a the little lighthouse that was there. Yeah, but we didn't get on the beach, I don't think, to actually yeah. get some good shells. I think we did. I think we did. That's the day we had to drop the camera, the, the camper roll for the day. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I don't remember that. It was all right. a blur over there. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, moving on. Okay, so we painted the background here. I put some white here on, on my moon just to, because I'm going to paint over it yellow and it's going to pop off. And then for the, um, 
for the top part, we're going to do the top part of the sunglasses next. Now, you could, I know, I love kayaking. We took the paddleboard out and I saw so many stingrays, little baby stingrays. The, um, the instructions actually call for this bottom part with the sand to be painted next. But I found for me, because I'm, I'm super messy and a little ADD, and um, that when I painted the background uh, next, I kept dragging my hand through it. So we're going to paint the background last so you don't have to listen to me cuss constantly because I'm dragging my hand through the background. Okay. So we're going to do the blue, uh, the dark blue across the, um, the two sunglasses. All right. So it kind of, the blue kind of like goes at the same level across the two. Again, you can make your background whatever color that you want to make it, your sky whatever color you want to make it. Um, for me, I just I um, just loaded some cobalt blue on the tip of the the tip of my brush. I got it just a little bit wet first and made kind of like a wash, right? And so the um, the sky kind of starts like along here where the side of the sunglasses are, the sky kind of starts here, kind of goes across here, and then it's going to take the same path kind of over here, kind of there. All right, kind of like that, okay? It kind of like gets right along the bottom of the moon. So I'm going to do this kind of wash across it um, till it gets kind of the way I want it to look. And you're going to kind of be the same way. I'm going to just kind of drag it across here. And it's basically just my blue kind of watered down. And I'm just going to keep going across until it kind of gets the look that I want. Um, and, and so since I went ahead, this is one of the reasons I went ahead and did the um, tree first. So I can just paint right over. I don't have to worry about trying to find my line for it later, <coughs> excuse me, or my pattern for it later. So I'm just going to keep trying to just kind of dragging this back and forth across. And then I'll, as time goes, I'll just kind of add more or less colors to it until it gets to the way that I personally want it. And that's just one of the things that, you know, I really encourage you to do is to, um, you know, kind of do the same thing. Just start, start light. And then just, if you want to darken it up, um, you can go back in and add purple or orange or, whatever, but just for like a starting point, this is just wet blue paint and I'm staying kind of on the top of my brush, just kind of taking just the top part of it and dragging it across. And this is the three quarter brush. Okay, clearly there's no right or wrong to this, so you can do it however you want. And if you don't like it, you can paint back over it later. So I'm just gonna kind of put down my first <coughs> layer of the blue. And now one thing I do ha do want to say too, is that um, we have, what do we have four screens? We have four screens and on each one of our screens, the blue looks a different color. So <laughs> the, so the blue that I'm using is the cobalt blue, but on your screen, it might look like a different color and you might want yours to be a different color. But if instance. you're painting it, do what? So there's the first. Yeah, instance. if you're painting it and you're using and you're trying to do exactly the pattern the first time, and you're painting it and you're looking at the screen and you're like, oh my gosh, that's not the same color at all. It's because different screens show show different colors. That's actually more um, realistic than the other shots are. That's really the color right there, wouldn't you say? This color here? Yeah, on the screen. Oh, and on the palette? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so so um, I, I do just want everybody to know if you're trying to follow the color and you're thinking, she's not using the color she said she's using, it's just different screens showed up different colors. I'm, you don't uh, sound like that. And also, <laughs> and also different brands, um, have just totally different hues for the different, the same name. Okay. So for right now, I'm just going to kind of leave my blue like that. It's kind of what I call roughed in. So it's kind of rough looking for right now. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add 
some other, you know, add the other colors and then I'll look at it again, think, oh, maybe I want that to be darker, even after I get the frame on. Okay. So I just kind of put my basics in and then go back and look at it. All right. So we're just going to keep doing that with the, um, <coughs> we're going to do the same thing with the orange. So our next layer is going to be orange and then our next is going to be the yellow. Okay. So we're going to do orange next and then the orange, we're going to kind of fade into the blue kind of blend into the blue and the yellow we're going to kind of blend in to the orange okay so i'm going to dry my brush and we're probably going to have more water changes tonight than we usually do as well. i could be the water boy tonight you're going to be water boy that was one of my favorite movies yes i'll be water boy <laughs> Hope I don't get my cups mixed up that I'm drinking from. Okay, so the next color that we're gonna do is orange. Whatever color orange that you chose is fine for your sky. Um, you could have chosen purple or you can put some purple in there if you want. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna put the orange down. Use a pretty dry, dry the brush out. Make sure you got all of your, make sure all of your blue is out of it. So. You really might want to change water. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up the same thing um, with the orange. And the orange kind of goes, uh, you know, across too. It kind of goes across kind of their shoulder width there. Okay, so we're going to kind of do the same thing with the orange. We're just going to kind of drag it across here, kind of blend it into the blue. And I'm just going to go straight on across over here. You can make it as dark or as light as you want. And the orange kind of goes to kind of right across like that. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it across. You can wet it a little bit if you want, streak it more. How's everybody doing? You keeping up okay? Do you have any questions? Just make sure between each one of these colors you rinse the brush really good. Um, or then you tend to end up with some really lovely, well, muddy colors. All right. Okay, and then we'll do the yellow the same way. All right, then we're going to switch to the yellow. And I like the, um, I usually use the uh, daffodil yellow color because it's a nice thicker yellow to use and I can trust it the most. But even some of the other colors, um, even some of the apple barrel, barrel colors would be fine. Um, would be fine with this because you're, it's going to be thinner anyway. Mama, what are you eating? Mama's eating a piece of pig picking cake. What the heck is that? <laughs> Mama, Nick doesn't know what pig picking cake is. And, oh, Mom, Laverne gave us the most awesome recipe for um, pancakes. We're going to have to try it when I come up. All right. And so then wait, we're just, wait, wait, wait. What are we waiting for? Oh, no. We can't try the pancakes without Nick. You're going to have to wait till you get back to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Big mistake. Sorry big about that. Big mistake. <laughs> that ain't going to fly well. <laughs> All right. So then we're just going down here with the yellow, doing the same thing. It doesn't matter. I'm kind of brushing across my people here, but I know I'm going to paint over them anyway. So, yeah. So that's fine. So next weekend, we will not be painting um, because I will be at my mom's. And on Saturday night, we'll be celebrating my birthday and Mother's Day because we just celebrate whenever we can. And then the following weekend, we don't know how that's going to go, but we are going to be at um, an arts festival locally in town. And so catch us. We are going to be painting live. <laughs> we have no idea how that's going to turn out. And then we're going to be painting live actually every two hours. We're we'll painting at uh, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and 
three o'clock live from the arts festival um i'll have to post so you guys can see what we're painting because i've forgotten now what we're painting and um yeah so you'll have to that that could be pretty good comedy because we just don't know what we're going to be doing yeah i'm afraid I'm i know we don't afraid. know but we're so excited about it so excited about yeah, it might it. not be very long we're, we're going to definitely put some live posts yeah out. it'll be uh, yeah so what's the dates on that so, it's um the 22nd and 20 well the 22nd we're going to do a live the 22nd yeah. yeah that's a saturday the 22nd yep we'll be live there. Um, we will be at the art festival, and where is that at? Um, Port St. Lucie, over on oh. Walter and then US One. Okay, so it's in Port St. Lucie, Florida. That's where we, we're located at. And um, I will try, I guess, to get live um, a couple, a couple of, times. of times. Yeah. Yeah, depending on internet and access and everything else. So we will at least say hi to you guys from there. Yeah, we just don't know what we're getting into. Um, Andrew, it's going to be um, an arts and it's an arts arts and mindful mindful wellness festival. So it should be pretty awesome. Um, it's at the our civic center up here. Um, it's called the Midland Center right now, and it's uh, the twenty second and twenty third. It should have quite a bit of stuff. Actually, uh, Andrew, if you call, I have some kids books for you that I was going to get to you. So what I'm um, what I did with the yellow too was I kind of put it um, I put some of the yellow up here because if there was a big old moon up here it would kind of be reflected this way so I kind of put some yellow up here and I'm putting some white up here um, and then I'll let you guys catch up and also change your water and then one of the things that that I did you don't have to but one of the things that I did was I just kind of made I made a little bit of a moon reflection around here because that's what it would do. And I wanted a little bit more white, and then I'm going to paint the moon yellow. And while you guys catch up, we have a quick surprise, right? What was I doing? Oh, I was painting around here. Wait, are you painting? I'm just finishing up this piece right here. Whee! Like that. Kind of wanted it softer than that, so I'm gonna go back over it. Hold on one second. <laughs> so I wanted mine a little softer look than that, so I'm just kind of wetting a little bit more to get that softer look in there. And then I'm gonna go back over it and just kind of pounce it. Or just kind of a softer look. Okay, and then I'm gonna paint the moon yellow. And then I'm going to step back and just see what else I want to do to that before we go to the next step and while you guys catch up. So now I'm going to paint the moon yellow over the white, and that really helps it pop a whole lot more. When you paint that, paint it white first, even though the canvas is, is white. Whoa, look at that pop. This actually would have been done, could be, could be done in neon colors or glow in the dark colors. It'd be very awesome. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit, then I'm gonna look back on it. I think I want the blue different. And speaking of, we got the wrong view. <laughs> you, want the, you want the top view. And while we're waiting for that big old, <laughs> while we're waiting for that um, big old moon to dry, while we're waiting for the, the big old moon to dry, we actually have, aside from this beach ball, we actually have, this is very dangerous. <laughs> let's switch, let's switch. We're, we're, we're back. This is a different beach ball. So what we're gonna do with this beach ball, ta -da! this beach ball has three questions written on it. And so I'm gonna throw it to you and wherever your left thumb lands, you ask that question. And then what prize do they get? Whoever answers at first on the board, whoever answers the question gets a beach ball. A beach ball. Yay. All right. There you go. All right. All right. Who wants a beach ball? All right. So, all right. Well, 
Here's what I guess do. I'm gonna randomly pick a question on the ball when and you then throw it to me. First on the board, whoever answers first wins. So get your typing fingers ready. All right, those of you who are painting, put your painting utensils down and get ready to type. And I guess I'm gonna catch a ball. You're gonna catch a ball. I think I'm gonna change my water while you ask the question. Okay. All right. Ready? Is everybody ready? Right, you go okay. over there and throw away the ball. Okay. Here we go. And I'm gonna take my water over here, so okay. I, so I don't spill it. Oh, you guys missed the grand finale of our last successful painting, the two paintings of one night, when Nick spilled the whole. It's not on video either, unfortunately. <laughs> Nick spilled the whole glass of of yucky water like this i did all across the painting table <laughs> yes i did all right so I, I claim that all right okay here we go Go over there one two three. Oh, i'm not that good of a throw all right ready? Okay. One, here we two, go throw it at me all right oh left thumb What's left the thumb left thumb okay name all right wait 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 everybody ready okay here we go mark get set Name a Beach Boy song. Go. Name a Beach Boy song. First person on the board wins a beach ball. Name a Beach Boy song. I'm waiting. Takes me a couple seconds to see you guys' response. I'll just sit here and twirl. Okay, waiting to see. Who do we got? Name a Beach Boys song. All right. Merry Christmas, baby. Mary, on the board. I got, who else we got that? Lynn, California Girls. Come oh, on. Yeah, California Let's see. Girls. Anybody else? Oh, Mary, I forgot. Kokomo. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe she knew that. I can't believe you knew All that, right. Laverne. We had a whole conversation. To make earlier. it fair, who was the first person on the board? Lynn was the first person on the board. Lynn's the first person on the board. And she wins a delightful, will you write her name on here? Beach ball. All right. That right is then. yours. I'll write your name on it. And then we have two, two more questions, more questions in a little bit. So, so stay tuned. Gotta be fast. You never <laughs> know what these questions could be. It's like a magical eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> but not. <laughs> okay. So I'm back and I'm looking back at my painting, which is really what I, I like to do. I like to paint it and then look back on it. It's like, eh, I think I'd like my blue to be a little bit darker. Was that, was that your, oh, okay, I thought you were drinking your paint water. No, I didn't drink my paint water that time. I did change my water. All right, so I'm just gonna do the same thing again with my, um, my blue. I'm gonna wet it just a little bit. And just drag it across some of the spots what darker. To markers? There's a bunch of markers right here. Yeah. We did a dreadful job today of cleaning up after each other. So much cleaner here. And um, should we switch camera views? So much cleaner here, but neither one of us can find anything because the other person cleaned around and behind them. Yeah, I definitely like my sky a little bit darker. And if you get it too dark, you can always just grab some water, wet it down, thin it out. It really would look nice. And this is why a lot of times people don't finish the painting in one setting, because it really would look nice to maybe have some purple reflected in there. Well, that changes it. it Change the color. Cameraman at work. But again, you can you know make this as light or dark as you like. Fade it out. I think it looks a little more realistic that way. I don't know. We're just looking at our different colors as they appear. On our different screens. It's not funny because you cannot see these colors on here. Hmm. 
Mm. All right. <laughs> if you see lights flickering, it is not storming here. It is simply the camera person experimenting with the camera colors. <laughs> <laughs> like I said okay and then once it's done then we can kind of go back and look and see if you want areas darker or lighter if you want more you know white or yellow coming down through here we can experiment um, and do that and then the so the next thing we're going to do is paint whatever color you decided you wanted the um sunglass rim to be so we're going to paint here and then we're going to paint around here down into here there's sand along about here let me show you um, and again i'm painting this for me my preference is to paint this first because if this is still wet, I'm going to keep drag my hand through it. Same thing with all this black. And also, once you've used a paintbrush to paint something black, it really, it really stains the brush and stays on the brush. And then once you've done it, you have to completely change your water. So I always like to do black last if I can possibly do um, uh, the black last. So um, we're going to go around the edges here and it ends kind of in the sand right here if you can see kind of where your pattern is and it ends kind of in the sand here and here and here it ends at the kind of top of um, the sand area okay and i'll just keep showing you so you can kind of see where it kind of goes to okay all right so let's see what color the deep red deep red so i'm going to stick with the red that um that it called for in the um, in the directions, and this is the Craft Smart, um, which is one of the le least expensive brands. It's the Craft Smart Deep Red, but it's a nice thick color, so it's really, really nice. Now, it really probably for those of you who have paint pens and like to use paint pens and have confidence using paint paint pens, it's excellent to do this with the paint pens because you can definitely, especially if you have a little bit of um, shaky hand or whatever, you can definitely do it. Um, I think you can probably do it a, 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 with a lot more confidence with the paint pen. All right, so I am going to, I'm so I'm starting from the left and going this way because I'm right handed and I don't want to keep dragging my hand through everything. Just have the only thing that's wet for me right now is that sun, uh, uh, the moon or sun, whichever that is, sun. <laughs> And um, I do always have to be aware of that because I'm just such a messy painter and I always end up dragging my hand through things. So I'm going to um, start here painting this. Everybody doing okay? Doing good. Doing good. Thank you for asking. It might need more than one coat. It's completely up to you once it's dry to see if you think it needs more than one coat. Some of the some of the colors are going to be thicker and some um, are going to be thinner and you might like it thinner like that. Um, so that's completely up to you. <clears throat> All right. And then we're just going to start going around our pattern. The brush, you're going to have to keep reloading. Just load just kind of the tip. Don't load it all the way up to the ferrule because if paint gets in the ferrule, you lose the position of the um, bristles, actually. All right. So we're just going to go down to here. You can see I'm running out of paint, but I went ahead and went down just so that I have that base layer there. And there's going to be little wavy areas as you're doing it because – uh, maybe unless you're using the paint pen, and that's fine. We can just go back over this. So, so some of our upcoming events. We're going to be well in the aside from the, what we don't know we're doing at the arts fest yet. We do know we're going to do patriotic one at the we're doing a patriotic one at the arts fest um we're doing i don't know 
which other ones we're doing. But in our um, party room, for those of you uh, interested in joining, if you'd like to a, peek, a sneak peek of the party room, I can um, let you in for 10 or 15 minutes to look around in there so you can see if it's worth it to you. It's $11 a month and you get, there's already like 50 paintings on there and patterns on there. Um, so for classes like this, for the um, party room members, the files are already there, you know? Um, and, so, and some people like to go ahead and get started doing the background ahead of time. So the files and the patterns are already there, along with there's already other 50 other patterns to choose from with the pattern. Some of them have the videos. We're, you know, building it right now. For right now, through uh, Memorial Day, it's only $11 to join for our current followers which are 506 thanks to a group push last week thank you andrea for helping with that group push last week to get us over so that uh, nick had to paint blindfolded that was a huge success yeah that was that was fun, that was, that was fun. Uh, yeah and so yeah the paint party room we're doing june 2nd we're doing the lighthouse that susan uh, sue had requested the lighthouse and um, we're doing that beautiful mermaid I love that movie. Yeah, wait till we do the so lighthouse. Much. Wait till you see what we have. Oh, so yeah. For that one, that's going to be fun. That one's going to be oh, really yeah. fun. The lighthouse. And then, I don't know if you guys saw uh, a couple weeks ago my little son. Um, His little son. <laughs> who who <laughs> saw Nick's little son? <laughs> is going to be joining us again, and he is going to be doing. Um, oh, yeah. The uh, what's he doing? The jellyfish, jellyfish, yeah. Jellyfish, they're, they're gonna be doing a painting together, and um, they're gonna be teaching a painting together for Father's Day. So, um, it's a jellyfish, it's really pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's gonna be really fun. He's yeah. funny. We, we, uh, I think we really weren't anticipating his uh, his humor, his humor, yes. <laughs> He's a quiet child for the most part, so that was. That was, kind of interesting. Yeah, it kind of shocked us a little bit. So that was good. Yeah. Um, where is Daniel today? Daniel is um, <laughs> hiding. Tomorrow and... is Mother's Day. <laughs> um, Tomorrow is Mother's Day, so he's with his mommy. <laughs> okay, Andrea asked a question. How does the art fest work? Um, do we paint too or just That's watch you paint? Good question, Andrea. So, um, I'm, we are going to decide by the end of the day tomorrow, actually, what paintings we're going to do. So um, I can let everybody know which ones we're doing at which time. And um, it'll work the same like any live. Um, I'll send you the, um, the patterns ahead of time, except, of course, the people in the party room, they'll already have all that. Um, but I'll send you the patterns and everything um, ahead of time. So you can paint along if you want to. Um, and they're only going to be, they're going to be some of the, basically, I, would, you know, I guess you would call them some of the easier ones. It's going to be um, the, the beach one that has the heart and the hands. Uh, I don't no, have a picture. Isn't that power right there? No, it's already, it's already in the in the shipping files. Okay. And we're going to do, I don't know if you remember the one, it's a red, white, and blue one. It says Faith, Family, Freedom. And I forgot which other one we decided. Yeah. Now, again. But that's a good question. Thank you. Yeah. We're not sure that we can go live for very long, so it might be uh, sporadic checking in on us. Yeah, we'll do both. We're going to do the paintings, 11, 1, and 3. And then we're going to, if we find anything interesting or do anything interesting, we're going to do that in addition. It should be interesting. So you can probably see some of my areas I didn't get uh, com like completely painted. It just kind of I ran out of paint and that's fine because at least it leaves the first layer of paint there and then I'll go back over it. Okay. And so you can see if I'm... Um, you can see if you have paint uh, or if you use paint um, pens, paint markers. Oh, that's right. This particular one I used a ruler because I couldn't bear to have it crooked. <laughs> if you use paint markers, <laughs> sorry, I have to have 
I wish my friend Lisa was on here. She totally understands. She's a perfectionist like that too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I just wanted to make sure this line across here was straight, so I used a ruler. I cheated. But, Andrea, thanks for bringing that up because I'll definitely um, address that on the site. That's a good question. All right. So that's the basic of the sunglasses. And so I'm going to go back, these little splotchy splotches here, I'm going to go back and fill those in. And let's see. You want to break out the beach ball? Do we want a family feud question there, everyone, or do we want to play throw the beach ball? <laughs> Andrea said she's a perfectionist too. Andrea, that's why in this case, I, I think the the um, paint markers are so are so much easier. But I just can't bring myself to to use them much. All right, so beach ball, beach ball, beach ball, beach ball, beach ball. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Yeah. Beach ball time, beach ball time, beach ball, beach ball, beach ball time, beach ball, beach ball, beach ball time. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, no. Oh, okay, were, I thought we were playing. It's like, not volleyball. I thought we were juggling it. It's first. not volleyball. You're gonna knock, something over. You're gonna knock the water over again. <laughs> All right, do it. Whatever your right, <laughs> thumb, ah! whatever your right thumb lands on. Okay, I'm okay. finished up sunglasses. You ask the question. All right. <laughs> Everybody ready? Ready. Here is your, the next question. Get your keyboard fingers ready. All right. Or to this, win a beach this ball. might be a little difficult. I'm not sure. Um, I thought the Kokomo one was difficult, so we threw it out the Laverne knew it. I told time. you they know this. I because know. you don't know it, you weren't going to win prizes. It doesn't mean nobody else was going to win prizes. I know. Laverne totally won. All right. Totally won. For the next beach ball giveaway. Beach ball giveaway. Uh, name a movie with a beach theme. Okay. That one I can get. No, you cannot. Oh. That one I cannot get. Name a movie that has a beach theme or with a beach theme. With a beach theme. It's with it's a, beach a beach theme. Okay. The beach was in it. First on the board wins. First, First on, the, on board. the board wins. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Name a movie with a beach theme, and the answer is... Where's my buzzer? I don't have my buzzer. Oh, let me get my buzzer. buzzer. All right. He's got the buzzer. buzzer. He's going in search of his buzzer. All right. His buzzer. All right. All right. No, no. You can't answer. She already answered. All right. Wait. Mary. <laughs> Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii. See, I don't know any of these movies. I know Jaws. That was it. And Beach Blanket Bingo. I've kind of heard of that I've one. I've never heard of that one. Blue no, Crush I've heard of. I've never heard of Blue Crush. Nights in Winter. Nice. I've never heard of that one. You see how much I watch TV, right? My whole life, <laughs> my whole life is painting. That's on Baywatch. There you go. <laughs> that should have been. No, <laughs> I'm not allowed to watch that one. That's a no, no. <laughs> no, everybody says no. Two on the board. <laughs> That's two strikes against me. All right. Okay, Mary wins that one. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. All right. While okay. I have your attention, I'm going to ask enough. No, no she asked another question. Or you need more time? Um, probably you could ask another. You're asking Family Feud. Yeah. Yeah, probably because these going around the um, edge of that was is tricky. So people might still be doing that. All right. So he's going to ask another question, another Family Feud question, while everybody kind of finishes the rim of the sunglasses, because that is a, a little bit. This is going to be time easy. Consuming. Now, remember, oh. if you haven't How answered. How many times have you heard that one? Oh, this is going to be easy. If you haven't easy. answered any questions yet, please answer a question so I can put your name on the board. And then we can pick at the end of the night. We're picking three. Yep. Three prizes tonight. Three prizes. In and addition to our 
Beach ball. Yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. beach ball bonanza tonight. Yeah. Uh, and we give out pretty good, cool prizes. I, I thought so. Laverne loved her prizes. Yeah. And Joe loved her prizes. I mean, prize. if you guys want to share what some of your prizes are, that's up to you. Yeah. If you don't, that's, that's yeah. fine. And if you don't, can I just say one thing? I know that, um, so we, we um, live paint through Facebook. But it's through a software called StreamYard. So if you got a message that said, please share your name so we can view your comments and we'll get all your information. We don't get all your information or pay any attention to all your information. Um, but if you still want to participate, it, all it means is that if you post something on here, it's going to show to us. It's just going to say Facebook user instead of your name. And so if you want to, if you want to join in and you don't want to let StreamYard accept your name or whatever, you can just post in the comments, you know, from Christina um, and then whatever you're going to say. And then right. we'll still only see Facebook user, but you can participate that way. Because I do know that StreamYard asks you that and some people are like, whoa, no. Yeah, so the reason why it does that, because if, if you don't allow the app it can't transfer it over Your to name. facebook yeah. as a user yeah so it doesn't know that you are a person it just knows that you're a user yeah so, so you can still participate um it's just going to show us it's just going to say facebook user we are so fine with that if you want to do it that way yeah. um but just know that then just you'll have to just say hey it's christina or something like or that. you can make up your own name yeah you can call yourself sarah or whatever that's what i always call George. sarah's what i call myself and i don't want people to know my name well, anyway I, I, all right okay sorry all right, next question. Go ahead. <laughs> moving on okay this is real simple real easy um i'll take any answer for this one Name something kids might collect from the beach. All right, that's pretty easy. Yeah, that is easy. I that was easy. Is it first on the board? Oh no, no, this no, is, it's all on the board. This is um. So this is Family Feud. So this goes with your your name. So name something kids might not have to, but might collect shells, yeah. on the beach. That's me. I love my shells. shells. And that's number one answer, by the way. Yeah, I love my shells. When we first- We'll, we'll, we'll take Dells. I mean- Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, that's it. Andrew's cut off. <laughs> no more. Stop it too. <laughs> shells, sand, shells I meant. <laughs> I thought she was playing farmer. Can we say anything else farmer besides in the shell, shells and sand? That's the only thing that's there. Sand dollars. Sand dollars. Oh, okay, that's good. Sand dollars. But sand quarters. <laughs> glass. Oh yeah. I, really like I love glass. I actually I found it. I found a cool piece of glass today, shaped like a diamond. It's really cool. Oh, all right. Yeah, pretty. I'll look for I it. love the glass. Okay. All right. I'm gonna start painting the sand down here. All right, sunburn. You can't collect a sunburn. <laughs> Apparently, she has. Well, I guess okay. no wrong answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next, um, the next area we're going to paint is the um, sand. Um, I'm painting it last, even though the instructions said to paint it second because I didn't want to drag my hand through it all night. So um, I have a beautiful clip. Oh, driftwood. I saw a bunch of pretty driftwood today too. So the um, is it driftwood or is it Satara? What's Satara? It's driftwood. It's driftwood. It's driftwood. <laughs> so the um, so for the <laughs> sand, you can make it any color that you want. Um, the directions call for mixing box. the raw Sorry. sienna with the white. And so I did that. I followed the directions. And it's kind of like this sandy color. But there's also, you know, some other um, browns or colors that you can use as well. It's whatever. Oh, rock. She said that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> and so it whatever color you see sand being that's what color your your sand is so we're just going to go all along here i just kind of glop it on like the same way i did the sky because it kind of gives it that texture and i use two different colors um to kind of um, give it some texture and depth as well okay so we're just gonna and i'm using the three-quarter brush um you're probably going to be painting over this one line right here, but that's okay. We can figure out where that's at. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of glop it on back and forth. Kind of does give it, in my opinion, more of a sandy look there. And then after that, the only thing we have left to do is fill in our black. Well, we'll highlight this and then we'll fill in the, the black. Okay.
Okay, that sounds good, looks good. All right, so I'm just kind of doing it back and forth like this because that's how sand on a sand on a beach kind of looks piled up like that. And if you get out of line with the sand, obviously sand. I'll beat you. <laughs> no, sorry. If you, get out of, sorry. <laughs> if you get out of line with the sand <laughs> up there, you know, sand has a mind of its own, as we talked about earlier. So just, um, you know, wherever it goes, let it go. Let it go. No, no not, not that song. I hate that song. And then just remember to paint the edges. Let it, Let it go. And the sand is just another thing. You're just going to have to um, trust your judgment and just get it to the point, you know, mix it and just get it to the point where it looks like sand to you. Um, it looks right? like sand to me. Does it look like sand to you? Yeah. So I'm just going to use a little bit. So I mixed the white and the raw sienna to, to kind of glop it around like that. But I'm going to just take a corner of my brush and get a little bit of the raw sienna, a little bit more of the raw sienna in it. And I'm going to kind of go along the edge right here to kind of um, shade it here a little bit. And then where that line was that we kind of buried when we painted over it, just going to just put just a little corner mix in here of the raw sienna, make it just a little bit darker, and then kind of go along the edges here. We're going to have to fine tune this in a few minutes anyway, because we're going to paint that black. Um, and then we're just going to just keep adding some shadows in there. It'll start talking to you as you're going along. Mm -hmm. Paintings That's always good. do. They start, they start talking to you. Okay. All right. And then for those of you who are just watching and you're going to go back later and actually paint, um, if you have any questions, need any help, want any feedback as you're you're doing it, please send them over. And um, you know we're always happy to help. But we found there's so much talent out there that many of you like like you know when we do, when we're painting this, we're not painting this to be perfectionist. We're painting this to have fun. If we, if, if we wanted to sit here, you know, for hours and go over it and paint it, you know, we we do that. Sometimes it's our good therapy. But tonight, you know, when we paint live with you guys, it's all about hanging out and having fun. Yep. It's not self about perfection. Well, it's, about, so it's, a, it's not about fine art. It's about fun art. And so much of it is about self-care. It's about, you know, saving our sanity and just doing something for your own selves and having Mother's Day to everybody. We're glad you're spending your Saturday night before Mother's Day with us. My son and... Um, Nick work at a church, so they work on Sundays, so they'll be gone tomorrow. So my son and I went out to dinner together. Yay! Who loves my beautiful balloon? I fell in love with it in the store last night. So pretty. And, and here, here you go. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. Oh, it's you beautiful. Whoa, look at that. That's it's really pretty. Thank you. Beautiful. Yay, I love them. Remember the tulips we painted with the bunny? I wish I would have had these to go by so I could have, could have painted them better. Yay. Thank you. Oh, will you go get my um, palette thing that, that the kids got me? Sure, sure. Some of you saw this on Facebook, but oh my gosh, it was so awesome. My kids got me. Okay, we just switched the camera on the screen and then I'll. So the next, um, we're going to kind of let this dry just a little bit. And then the next area, we're going to just kind of um, step back and just kind of um, to the left, on my desk to the left. Um, so at this point, I always like to just look at my painting. Sometimes I even take a picture of it because it looks like, um, um, yeah, Andrea, that would be so great. We'll do it with the Boy Scouts. We'll get them all together and paint something like that. I know I love the VW one. I was thinking about painting the VW one at that event. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you. 
So at this point, sometimes in, the, in my painting, I just, I, at this point, I like to just kind of step back and just kind of um, look at it. And it's amazing how sometimes, you know, I paint it, I paint it ahead of time because I always like to know what I'm talking about. And then when I paint it live, it looks so different. Of course, this time I didn't put the dog slash wild boar. Andrea, you can come and be our guest, guest painter with us one night. So my daughter, well, all my kids went in together and got this for me for Mother's Day. And this is just so beautiful. Some of you saw it. Um, I don't think, I don't know if we're on the right camera view. Some of you saw it on, on, on Facebook. But my kids are so good about getting unique, thoughtful gifts. They're very, very talented at it. So my kids went in together and got me this palette. I, I need a um, Something behind it. You can't even really sure, see sure it. Sure, that camera. Here? Yeah. Oh, you can't even, you still can't even really see it. Let me do this. <laughs> well, you get to get the multicolored Here. one. There. There. It's a paint palette they got me, and it's got pressed flowers all and leaves all inside of it. And it's a paint palette. Isn't it gorgeous? I was so thrilled. So pretty. I have the best kids in the world. And the best fiance in the world. But now I can never use the paint palette because I wouldn't want to do that. I can't bear to put paint on it. I know. Isn't it so neat? I loved it. And I used to press flowers. So <coughs> it got me inspired to press flowers again, too. Okay. So the last thing we're going to do is um, paint this bottom area black. Paint our palm trees black. Put some little black palm fronds on here and paint this um, little couple black. So I use the, uh, I know it's so precious, I love it. So I used the um, number two uh, browns to do um, most of it. And then I, then I got a really skinny little flat six to do the inside there, okay? So um, we're gonna paint that black. And then if you have ruined a paintbrush, that we're going to use that to paint the um, little palm fronds on there. All right, so we're going to turn to our black now. Charles is to do black last because um, it stains the paintbrush and stays in the paintbrush forever. So you want to, uh, and then you have to rinse your water, change water, that whole nine yards. So, um... I'm going to wet my brush, get most of the water off of it, and then I'm just going to, whoops, I got an extra little hair hanging off of here. Guys, hold on one second. Need the scissors? You're dripping. Uh, crisis! <laughs> Sorry, time out, time out. The extra hair is really going to make a difference when I... Thank you. It's going to make a difference. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but Should for I that get, tiny area. Get the machete out? No, no machete. I think it's fine. Okay, I think it's fine. All right. Let me try that again. Okay. And take two. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do we'll fix that in the my mix. couple first. Hmm. I'm going to just see. The little hair keeps popping up there. So I'm going to do inside of the couple first. Inside his little head. Go now, if you what? Just oh, you got your plant right in my view. My plants you, in your you're, view. You're fine. You're fine. That's good. Oh. <laughs> if, um, there we go. Yeah, and when you're trying to do little areas like this, if you have a loose hair on your brush, it's like all you need to mess up the whole. Thing. Now, with this particular painting, you know, in addition to, um, oh, I'm, I'm switching brushes because that little hair is just. Yeah, I just had to me. I'll go ahead and. You're going to go get the machete and take that little I'm hair off of it. To, Thank get, you. I'm bring it's it just a shop. street. <laughs> you go take it to the shop. Put it in the vice. This little guy right here. This little. Yeah, it's just that if I let it go, it's going to drag along the rest let of there. Go. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so back to what I was talking about, about the painting. Um, this also, just like we did the, um, the beach mom one, you could always put other, you know, you could always add the kids to it. Um, 
You could take the man out of it all together if you wanted to. It could just be a lady and her dog there or a lady and her kids there. Whatever, you know, you could definitely um, individualize this. You could paint the sand underneath of them, sand color, and put their initials in it. You could carve their initials in the tree. So there's lots of different things you can, you can do with that, okay? My other one, I was painting it in a hurry because I wanted to put that dog in so bad. And then the dog just ended up, I swear, it looked just like a wild boar. So that's one thing that I don't want you guys to do is try to paint it, um, paint it in a hurry so that you're not able to individualize it. So if you're not able to finish it tonight, like I said, you can always finish it a different time. Um, you can actually also thank you for the thank you for the clean paintbrush. <laughs> you could also definitely make the um, the people. So sorry, I'm just. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just so childish. That is so true. That's okay. It's all right. <laughs> you could also make the people be, um, the girl looks quite anorexic. And um, the original one I painted, I put some weight on her for sure. <laughs> all right, you want to do your last beach ball idea while we're. Oh, we got one more beach ball question? One more beach ball. Oh, my goodness. Who's ready for the last beach oh, ball? Oh, my goodness. Question. You're going to love this last one. Um, should we throw the beach ball? Or should I just read it? Because it's a Bring lot. it over here and show it to everybody. Oh, yeah. So we're just painting the couple and underneath of them black right now. All right. All right. All right. Ready? All right. This is a hard one. Not really. It's all easy. It's also it's not easy. easy. I didn't know half of that. All right. So if you uh, want to win a beach ball, put your paintbrushes down, get your hands on your keyboard, ready and get to ready write. to type because to here type. it comes. Name. It's a name. Places, names. What's what's it? Um, places. People, places, and things. There's people, a... places, things. Okay, so this is the people, places, and things question. Name a famous. Ooh, what's he gonna say? Name a famous beach. Here we go. Famous beach. Famous, famous beach. beach. Simple. Name a famous for, beach. For the last beach ball. For the last beach ball. Last beach ball goes to. Do, 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 do. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying to paint Last details here. Beach ball goes to <laughs> Ta-da! Very good. <laughs> Miami, Atlantic City. Ooh. Oh, Miami. New Jersey, Wildwood, Daytona. Yay, Daytona. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, good answers. That was great. You very guys good. did really well very tonight. Good. Very, very good. Wait, who answered first? Oh, Laverne, right? No, I don't know who answered first. <laughs> Now you're gonna have to go back through all of the comments. Oh, Wildwood! I've asked. That's probably the only one I've never been to. Elaine. Seaside Heights, Atlantic I've City. I've never been there. Have you been there? Which one? To um, Wildwood, Atlantic yeah. City. I've never been there. I've been to Wildwood. I've been to Atlantic I've City. Been. I was raised in Atlantic City. Uh -huh. Very good. Those were ones I wouldn't have thought of. Well, no. The one thing we can think of is Daytona. <laughs> Daytona was the only one I thought of. <laughs> but then I, uh, whoever said Miami, I was like, oh, yeah, Miami. That's beautiful there. Uh, who do you think got it? Who's, who I think Laverne. Scooch up. Yes, it was Laverne. Laverne. Fort Walton. Oh, Mary, that's so pretty there. Never been there. Isn't it where we went that the, um, we saw? We went to that museum? That wasn't me. One day, one day. <laughs> well, yeah, one day. One day we decided we would watch the sunrise at the beach closest to us. And then we drove across the state to watch the sun set um, on the other side of the state. That was quite the adventure. Except we were so exhausted driving back. South Beach, yay. <laughs> We've been there in a long time, though. I'm going to give her a string here like this. Do you know who won? We had Lynn, we had Laverne, and who else? You were supposed to be writing their I know, names I didn't on it. Write it down. Mary, Mary was the other. Was it Mary? It was Mary. Mary was Mary it you? Mary was you, right? He didn't write your name on it. He got so excited. He forgot to write your name on it. 
Mary. Such a pretty song, is it? Well, there's just several ones like Mary had a little lamb. No, I'm not talking about the Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> I'm talking about the. <sighs> All right. All right. Got your name on it, Mary. All right. And you got Laverne's, right? I got <laughs> Laverne. I got the two L's and an M. All right. There you go. All right. All right. So all we're doing, all that's left to do is paint um, the black here, and then we will be done. Do you want to ask one more family feud question and then let Mama uh, give you, um, then let Mama get, pick numbers? Uh, you're the boss. You tell me. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, whatever I say. <laughs> She's like, I've heard it all my life. Delaney said that. Delaney's so smart. Delaney, actually, La Laverne's uh, granddaughter, Delaney, who's super talented and smart, she actually came up with an, um, the name for our kids group that we're going to start. We're going to launch it for like a month or so, probably. But we were just, I just was struggling over a name for a kids group that wasn't um, juvenile or silly or something that adults would think was cute. It was something, I wanted something that kids would think was appropriate. And I thought, I'm going to see if Delaney has any suggestions. And she had a fantastic, fantastic idea. I just well, loved it. I can't say it, though. I know, I can't say it. Can't say it. But it was like, oh my gosh, that's so neat. It'd be a surprise. Yeah, that's so neat. All right, so I'm just going to paint over these guys here, even though I already outlined them. I did want them to be just a little thicker, so I'm just going to kind of go over these guys. And then the last area I'm going to do is this little area down here. All right, maybe I'll ask a question then while you're doing that. Okie doke. That was a good idea. Glad you saw it today. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Whoop, missed there. Missed there. That's a thick one. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all right. It's like a, a hand with some fingers coming out. <laughs> all right, here's the next and final. Family Feud question, question for the night. All right. You guys did such a great job Thank tonight. You, and I, uh, I had a good time. I, I know, I, always, yeah. right? So we're going to give out the uh, three beach balls. Yep. And then Mama, get ready to pick out um, three numbers. And I'll tell yep. you what the numbers are, too. And here comes your last and final question for the night. Okay. And All right. Here, here we, we go. go. Name something that you have to do when you throw a big party. Ooh. Mm. You mean had to, but we could throw a big party. No, we still throw big parties. Oh. Remember, we're in Florida. We can throw parties. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to paint this last little area down here black. Back when we could throw big parties, and when we can throw them again. Cook. Oh, yeah. That should have been Laverne. That's what she likes to do. Or that's what she retired from doing. Clean before and after. <laughs> right. Wear a mask. Right. Buy food. Clean before and after. Invite people. There you go. That's it. That was number one. The number one was plan. Invite people. Number two was cook. Number three was clean. Number four was buy food. <laughs> Laverne said prepare food, not buy food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prepare food, get food. Um, okay, we're missing two on the list here. Two, come on, you guys can do it. We have invite people, plan a menu or cook, clean up the house or clean up, uh, buy food, Plan the party. Um, I can't think of what else. Are we missing some? Uh, yeah. Really? What do you do for a party? What do we do for Mama's party when we threw Mama's party? 
What did we yeah. spend all can I say, afternoon doing? Can I say, can I say? That's right there. Decorating. <laughs> can, uh, music. Yes, I am music. Well, yeah, I love that answer. <laughs> <laughs> By alcohol. <laughs> Uh, these days, there's not enough of that in the world, wow. that's for sure. Great job. That's really good. Good job, everybody. <laughs> we did an um, 80th birthday for my mom, and we did a 50s theme, and it was spectacular. Thank God we did it when we did, because we did it in January <laughs> of um, 20, and that was right after that we got, everybody got yeah. locked down. So th we're so thankful that we did that. We have so many of our friends together that now we're, you know, haven't been able to see. We're just so glad we did that. So glad we did that. Lane said extra chairs. I didn't see that one. That's oh, that's a good. good one. Extra chairs. And she needs to help us plan the event. <laughs> Make sure we don't forget anything that we're going to. All right. So the last um, thing that we're going to do is the um, palm fronds, although you can leave it like that if you want to. I just used um, a brush that got ruined, that, and I'm using it dry. I think it's dry, yep. I don't know if it's dry or not. They, they got ruined, and I'm just gonna make downward bristles. That's really all that the, um, it's just downward bristles. It's really all that the pattern. Can we even see? I'm trying to focus on it. Okay. Sit still. You got it? Yeah. Right there. Right there. The pattern just calls for kind of downward bristles. And so, um, where did the painting go? Oh, it's under it. <laughs> it's not easy sometimes, people. It's not easy. I'm, I'm already warned of my ADD. So I really, I just got this rough brush and just kind of dabbed it in the black and then just kind of go straight down, like just straight down on the end like that. First, if you want to practice doing it on your palette first, you might want to, um, you might want to do that first so you have the stroke right, but I basically just kind of pounced it in the paint and then just did it on here. Um, and it really does truly look like what Florida's ragged palm trees can look like sometime. So um, I'm just going to kind of do one down here like that. Let's see if that looks like but there we go. And then over here like that. I mean, you could also, you know, make the make these green if you wanted to, make them pop with green. You don't have to make them black like everything else if you don't want to. Mama, Mama, hang on, Mama. <laughs> Jump in the gun already. <laughs> <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> and you can make these as big or little as you want. Um, you can make the palm fronds on both sides if you want to. I just uh, with mine, I'm just kind of keeping them small and scruffy because I don't want them to take away from the couple that's here. Okay, so you can you know go back and um, and look at yours and see. You know, if you want to add or subtract some from it, I just tried to keep that piece super simple so it didn't take away from the couple. But that's basically the sun and uh, sand and sunglasses. And um, I would probably go back and do some more highlighting in here. You can highlight behind here, maybe highlight the sand some more. You can write a saying up here. You can put your initials on the tree. Add a you, dog you or a wild a boar. Wild boar <laughs> or a hyena. Mine look just like a wild boar. Trust me on this. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can make it different, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. But um, thank you guys for joining us tonight. We will be posting on Facebook the paintings that we decide on and the time and the times for you can switch the channel if you want. And um, the times that we're gonna be painting which paintings at the arts festival so you can join us and just please um yeah let me know as much ahead of time as possible about the patterns because once we're there i have no idea what we're getting ourselves into thank you elaine thank you you guys can personalize it however and um, that you want to touch it up afterwards so all right mama pick a number from one to twelve right okay Oh, Mom, Nick said, Mama, pick a number one to ten, he said. <laughs> All right, one through ten, Mama, pick a number.
Thank you, Diane. Thank you for coming, <laughs> Diane. All right, hold on. We're waiting for Mama to pick a number. Did you? Is Diane's name on there? Yeah, of course. Of okay. course it is. She's been playing, doing good. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. All right, seven. She says again. Okay, who is it? Who is seven, seven is Dorothy. Three. All right, Dorothy is seven. Mom says seven. I say seven. Seven. All right, Dorothy. Make sure you mark it so that we don't forget. <laughs> Dorothy is a seven. All right. <laughs> All right. One more number. <laughs> But she says six. <laughs> I can't see new comments. Where'd they go? I know what happened. Nine. Nine is. Nine is Mary. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nine is Mary. And then one more number. Can If I touch this, we'll screw it up. No. New numbers. New comments? No. I can't fine. see him. You're good. I still can't see him. You still can't. Did you, you mess it up? Yay, Dorothy. Andrea. <laughs> you know, right? yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, one more. One more. One more, mama. Dorothy's so lucky. <laughs> I've never, I never win anything, guys. Never. I quit even entering contests, actually. The only thing I ever won, I was 10 years old and I won a pig at a state fair. And then nobody told me that I won it so that it could go to slaughter. That's a whole other story. <laughs> I never win anything. <laughs> All right, one more, Mama. One more, and here it comes five. And five is Diane. 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 <laughs> All right, awesome, everybody. Make sure you're right. Okay, perfect. All right, come and say goodbye to these fine folks. All right, fine folks. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight for the sand and sunglasses. And we will see you live somehow, some way at the Arts Fest and Mindful Fest. Are those pizzas? Has she sent me She's three pizzas? Andrea, is that three pizzas? It's flowers. <laughs> <laughs> that was three pizzas. <laughs> bye, say. Laverne. Bye, right, Delaney. Bye, everybody. Thank you all for Happy coming Happy Mother's Day. We'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Yeah, we'll see you at the Arts Festival. It should be fun. <laughs> yes, bye, Diane. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Mama says Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks again so much, everyone. It's celebrating. <laughs> <laughs>